Me comienzo. Comienzo. Bonis. Bonis. A ver si. Thank you, sir. Manasvi. Yes. How do you pronounce Manasvi? Manasvi. Okay. Yeah. What is the meaning? Sir, Manasvi means uh, someone who can uh, control his mind. Uh, one who is emotionally intelligent. Okay. I did your mechanical engineering in 2015. So after that, what you have been doing? Uh, sir, after that, I worked at Maruti Suzuki in research and development department. And after that, I started preparing for civil services exam. And in 2019, I joined one of the edtech firms so that it might aid my preparation also. And currently, after mains, I took up a responsibility, uh, took up a role that requires more responsibility. That is of a program manager. Where? At the same edtech firm, Ed Sarthi. Okay. And after doing mechanical engineering, you opted for psychology. Yes, sir. Why? Sir. Uh, during my engineering also there was one of the electives of uh, behavioral psychology so that really intrigued me and i developed a lot of interest in that subject so i thought let's take psychology as one of the subjects for, for upsc also okay is there any difference between conscious and subconscious uh sir generally both in normal language they are used interchangeably but if we see technically from freud's perspective then uh, conscious is that is the information that is readily available to us that we use in our conversation subconscious is when we have to bring something uh, recall something from our residual memory and something that we cannot recall that is our unconscious okay <clears throat> and i believe you are very good in singing <laughs> sir, I what believe... type of uh, songs you sing? Uh, Bollywood sir? or Ghazals? Or... Sir, all the songs that are good on my voice, I try to sing those. Okay. There is no <laughs> hard, hard and fast rule that only Bollywood only. Let's hear two lines. Okay, sir. Um... Khamoshiya. आवाज है तुम सुनने तो आओ कभी छूकर तुम्हें खिल जाएंगी गर इनको बुलाओ कभी बेकरार है बात करने को कहने दो इनको जरा Good, good. You sing well. You sing very well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should join Indian Idol or something. Sir, actually, I have not trained myself. I did not get an opportunity. So maybe. You can still do it. Yes, still do it. I'm looking it's very forward. Very easy for you to be trained. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. You have the basics. Okay. Your father was vice chancellor. Yes. Sir. Where? Sir, he was vice chancellor in two state universities of Haryana. Uh, Chaudhary Devilal University in Sirsa and Guru Jambeshwar University of Science and Tech in Hisar. Okay. And what was his discipline? Uh, sir, before that he was uh, principal in government PG college and... No, I his, wanted to know his subject. Uh, Sanskrit. Sanskrit, okay. Good. And you are also interested in cricket. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, you think... Uh, IPL is distorting cricket or it is aiding cricket? Sir, I think uh, the essentials or the basics of the cricket, the ethos of the cricket are being maintained and as a platform it is very good because India has a really rich talent in cricket. So the international cricket provides only a limited platform to a limited number of players. But to find out new talent, to hone them, to uh, provide them a platform where they can engage with the best of the talent across the world. I think that is a wonderful platform that they have provided. Okay. Hello. Is Freud still relevant? Sorry. 
Uh, Sir, so there have been many criticisms regarding Freud, but uh, his theories, uh, especially in therapy, it is still relevant in today's time. Mm-hmm. So there have been improvements on the Freud's theory, uh, but the psycho- modern psychodynamic therapy is really relevant in today's time also. Okay. Still relevant, you mean to say? Okay. Uh, there's something called Maslow's need hierarchy. Yes, sir. Very yes. So, where will you place yourself right now? And suppose you get into IAS or Nick Carter of your choice, then where will you go? In that, uh, sir, I think the bottom two needs are uh, fulfilled as of now because I'm currently working. What are, also. What, are they, what are they? So, I think I will place myself on the esteem needs. Mm-hmm. Uh, wherein I think it is partially complete but not fully because I see my potential can be achieved uh, if I clear this exam and then I'll move forward by fulfilling the internalization and creativity needs mm-hmm. uh, beyond that mm-hmm. and if God willing self-actualization may be achieved also. Self-actualization will achieve, you will achieve immediately after getting into the IAS says no, sir. So that will be the end goal. That will be the end goal. Okay. Uh, you are a mechanical engineer. Yes, sir. So, can you tell me the difference between a air conditioner and a cooler? A basic function wise. Otherwise, you uh, know So, the cooler basically functions on the concept of using... Uh, <coughs> what it does is, uh, the uh, water vapors that... Uh, I'm I'll, not able I'll, I'll just help you out. Yes, sir. And so that the, you can tell me the other one. Evaporation causes cooling. Yes, that sir. Is the basic so, principle. So the latent, so, latent heat. So similarly, this, this yes, I have already told you. So yes, sir. So the sir. principle of air conditioner. So the air conditioner uses more features. Uh, it not only provides cooling, but it also conditions the air. For example, it can vary the humidity. Mm-hmm. Air, uh, cooler will tell be. Me the basic, I told you the basic principle of an air cooler. It works on the principle of vaporization. Uh, vaporization. Yes, sir. On what principle does the air conditioner work? Yes, sir, I am not does able it, to recall doesn't exactly. Matter. You, do, you are not expected to remember each and everything. You have appeared in the CAPF interview once. Yes, sir. Huh? And uh, in this uh, UPSC, you have not appeared. This will be a first interview. Yes. Okay. So, uh, what is the difference between a CAPF and uh, say civil police of a district, basic difference. Apart from that one is controlled by central government, one is by state government, that apart. Uh, sir, the, uh, the central police has a specialized role. For example, a BSF, a SSB, they are on the border areas and CRPF has to uh, control the uh, riot infested areas or whenever a state police is unable to control. The normal day-to-day law and order is controlled by the state police. So I think they are more specialized in their Mm -hmm. nature and Mm -hmm. normal day-to-day law and order is controlled by the state police. Okay. So there is one major difference. If I say that something which CAPF cannot do, which the civil police does. Registering FIRs. Absolutely correct. Registering fire and investigation. Yes. Yes. That is the domain of the uh, civil police. Uh, you know, uh, there is something called the zeroth law of thermodynamics. Do you remember anything about it? Sir, I think it relates to uh, when two bodies are. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, so a, is a, a, a is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A, a is equal to C. So, the same principle can you apply? in the international relationship of two countries or three countries where this rule applies and where this rule does not apply. Give me one example each. Sir, where it does not apply, uh, I think it will be India's relationship with USA and India's relationship with Russia. Uh, Both are very good relations, but USA and Russia are antagonists. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. And uh, where it applies, I think, is uh, in the Quad countries, we can apply it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very, very nice. Now, I'll give you three options and you have to tell me about it. Police reform, electoral reform and judicial reform. Choose any one 
and give your opinion about what should be done. Sir, I have to talk about any one of these. Any one, you can see your choice. Sir, I think I'll choose uh, judicial reforms. Please. Uh, there have been concerns regarding the uh, transparency, regarding the functioning of the judiciary and uh, the subjectivity in the interpretations that have been there in many judgments. Also in the appointment, uh, there have been issues. Uh, it has also been said by many uh, analysts that judiciary is really tardy in their own reforms within their own system. So these are the concerns that... Uh, so do you think one should go for NJSE type of thing? Sir, I think it is a reform that is needed in the present times. Mm -hmm. And uh, although the concerns regarding the uh, uh, autonomy of judiciary have, have to be addressed and some memorandum of procedure can be developed wherein both the parties, the government as well as the judiciary, they come up to... Uh, uh, they come up to the same page. So I think there has to be developed a certain understanding and NJAC I think is a, is a very forward reform that will improve the quality of the judicial. So uh, you want the judiciary to go the bureaucracy way? Sir, not, <laughs> not the bureaucracy way but, uh, but I think uh, there have to be certain uh, improvements that have to be made in the appointment procedures. So, if if a party has a say in it, judiciary will still have the greater numbers. So, uh, I don't have think you, have so. You, have you seen the status of CBI Enforcement Directorate? Yes, sir, I understand. Yes, sir. I the understand. The moment you give that leeway, my dear uh, friend. Sir, even there also, I think there are severe concerns regarding the autonomy of these institutions, but they have their inbuilt mechanisms where they can ensure their autonomy. But uh, judiciary is one institution where it should not be done. But I think as a matter of reform, certain better procedures than the current understanding can also be taken up. Okay. Thank you. Manashwi Sharma. Yes, sir. You are from Karnal, no? Yes, sir. Tell me about Karnal. Uh, sir, its historical origin starts from uh, Mahabharat times, where it is said to be uh, the city of Karn, mm -hmm. Raja Karn. Mm -hmm. And jumping to the present times, it is one of the two smart cities of Haryana, uh, the other being Faridabad. And uh, the current CM also is the MLA from Karnal. Mm -hmm. uh, it, is, it has many... Uh, it is an educational hub within Haryana with many uh, central uni uh, with uh, universities coming up and medical colleges also there. Uh, universities, upcoming universities regarding uh, the horticulture university mm -hmm. and uh, a multi-purpose uh, medical college that is coming within uh, Karnal. Uh, there is NDRI, the National Dairy Research Institution, research institution regarding genetic resources in uh, animal husbandry, mm -hmm. then research institution in uh, seeds and sugar cane. So I think it is an it is a big educational hub within Haryana, okay. and it is one of the uh, major exporters of rice from Haryana. Okay, yes. good. Groundwater depletion. In Haryana is a big, very big issue. Yes, sir. And it's affecting the agriculture production as well. Yes, sir. What are the step government of uh, state government is taking uh, to recharge the depleted groundwater? Uh, sir, the uh, government of Haryana has recognized this problem, and they have taken up the <coughs> issue at multiple fronts. For example, they have started diversification of the crops. Uh, that has started with uh, MSP not just going to rice and wheat but also to other crops for example pulses for example uh, the millets bajra uh, and the others second is focus on climate smart agriculture uh, a lot of impetus has been laid on technology for example uh, micro irrigation so government has started schemes regarding the uh, 
incentives that have been given to the farmers who implement uh, micro irrigation then uh, on water recharge front there are other schemes also for example river rejuvenation schemes have also been started uh, starting from the river saraswati and there is also focus on developing local uh, water recharge mechanisms like those are in uh, rajasthan for example like tanka johards in haryana so water recharge mechanisms have also been started and around 500 are being built under manrega why youth of uh, haryana is migrating like punjab do you know this is big yes. big issue yes sir it has started recently yes sir what is the reason uh, sir i think the primary reason regarding that is haryana is a very high per capita income and household income is very high but as we see unemployment rate is very high in haryana and the type of jobs that are available for the local people who have a good high uh, uh, household income they are not satisfied with those jobs so they find it feasible to go abroad and take up uh, good opportunities there so i think this is primarily the reason why the youth are going there please tell five important tourist spots of haryana uh, sir i'll start with panchkula okay. uh, sir can i uh, it just bullet point religious places also are you can include anything in order of priority uh, sir which you feel that, that has to be in the list yes sir hmm. sir one is uh, sir pinjor garden in uh, panchkula uh, then within panchkula uh, i'm forgetting the so temple many. temple names i just i the think place you can tell. yes sir okay uh, within panchkula only uh, mata uh, okay one temple okay my last question is no no okay, issue okay, no, okay, no issue okay sir just read about it yes you should have told i was expecting from you punch that uh, Ra- rakhi gadi you should have you have started from that yes, there yes, would have yes, been sir. a we are i mean discussion anyway yes, uh, climate climate change mitigation and climate change adaptation there are two concepts yes sir just identify with examples sir mitigation is when preventing certain uh, impact that could have happened that can happen due to climate change for example uh, i think sir i have spoken it wrong uh, adaptation is uh, adaptation is this when we prevent something from happening for example we are going towards climate smart agriculture obviously and mitigation is when something has happened but we are reducing its impact uh, for example land degradation has happened and we are going towards land okay. rejuvenation okay thank you thank you anushree <clears throat> yes uh, any reason for the opting group b service much higher than many group a services uh sir i think you are referring to danix 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 yeah. danix yeah. and danips yeah so sir i think the work profile is very similar to uh, to the is officer so the diversification of work that will be there so that is what i think i preferred over the more technical services that are within the group a so i did not see from group a or group b services but with respect to the diversity of profile but question is from group b to group a it will take you 10 years why you are starting one level below you will reporting to a your uh, maybe your class fellow so you yes, group sir. a service and he may not be more brilliant than you you may be brilliant. you may be better than him so this is a genuine point that i had to balance when i was t- making this uh, judgment but i think a job wherein i might not be feeling very comfortable or might i might feel that i might not give my best how do you know you will not uh, feel comfortable in income tax or uh, yes. revenue service so customs income tax and revenue are already higher but the other services are quite technical in the management service anything railway is also sir higher than than <laughs> okay yes sir C- civil accounts yes sir so <laughs> since accounts is not in my purview and i have never read you it you need not do any accounting yourself you will be very senior position you will be only managing the people doing accounting below you 
Glue group of officers only sits in a big chair and he only manages the things. He doesn't. <laughs> so, so, this, so this might have been a wrong judgment on my part then. But the current, the understanding at the time of filling the services was that that I might be able to give uh, better in the diversified areas. There are hardly any CA or BCom honors background people there in sitting as civil counts and audit and counts department. They trained you for something which you need to know. Okay. okay anyhow, I leave yes. it at that. Yes. And you talked about the IPL cricket. Yes. If I say that if if IPL would have been so good, hmm. we would have been the powerhouse of white ball. White ball cricket at least, but we don't have any trophy to show. No multilateral tournament. We we have won since the start start of IPL. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, the conversion rate has been low. So I think that has to do with many other issues rather than IPL being one of those. IPL has really strengthened the team. Uh, the uh, it it is well established that the bench strength of India is better than any other team. That has been seen in many test cricket uh, tournaments also. For example, in Australia, down under, in 2021, India's main team was injured completely. But since the youth were trained in the IPL and in the crunch situations, they could come up on that crunch situation and perform. So I think we should not just see from winning the uh, winning the ODI trophies. Yes, that is very important. Uh, because ultimately, we are fighting for the trophies, uh, the ICC World Cup trophies. So that has to be seen. But I think IPL is not the uh, reason for the, that not happening. Uh, well, IPL has not done anything remarkably good. Anyhow, one some Rinku Singh that Vetia make five sixes in one over. But international level, we have hardly seen anybody except one Yuvraj Singh once made it. Yes, sir. Jai Shri Krishna, see one day before, yes. one some Ninku Singh yes, has made yes, five, sixes five sixes in last over. In the last so, over, that is only in IPL. That is entertainment, masala cricket. <laughs> yes, sir. Ah, so don't uh, go by that. Okay. Now tell me the considering the present circumstances, India and China, we have a problem. Yes. There may be some issues in future. Yes. Always ongoing tussle is going on. In any future conflict with China. What, who will be our more dependable ally, whether Russia or USA? Sir, I think both are very important in their own domains. For example, Russia has very good relations with China at present. So that will be very important in the relationship not going down the barrel and Russia can intermediate in between. And if, uh, if something happens on the border areas, India is very well equipped to handle it themselves. That is a different thing. But a to... morale booster will come from the US side also. So I think both are very important. India has very good relations with both. But considering present uh, ties between China and Russia, where China is a dominant partner, yes, sir. Russia seems to be a junior partner. How this Russia will be able to contain China uh, to and side with us? Sir, Russia is uh, dependent on many things from uh, that it buys from China and it is to an extent a little dependent but I think the relationship is not that, uh, the relationship status is not that different and being a legacy superpower, Russia still has, still maintains its status with respect to negotiating and stopping the worsening of relations between two of its greatest partners. How do you see, we want to contain China? USA wants to contain China. There is a convergence of interest. Yes. Sir. Russia doesn't want to contain China. He wants to help China. Yes, sir. on that front, then USA is also very important. That is uh, what yes. I maintained that both have their own roles. Which is better? I, that was my question. Who will be more dependable ally in those circumstances? Sir, if that fails, then if the interlocution fails, then certainly it has to be USA. But I think. Given the current understanding, uh, if there is some escalation on the, the defense aspect on the border areas, and then I think India is well equipped to handle oh, it on is, their own. I'm not asking military. I'm yes. diplomatic sport, political sport. Yes, that sir. is very also very important. So that that comes directly from USA's interests. Yeah. Okay. Yes. See, NCRT was in news. It has done something. What is the what is the provocation? What is the reason? What is the argument? What is the opposition? Uh, sir. I think you are referring to deletion of yes. uh, certain 
certain facts and certain segments of NCERT from 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th NCERTs, history right. NCERTs. Right. So, uh, the greater issue pertains to rewriting of history and one and another issue is whether the current government is deleting uh, certain segments of history because uh, of some communal references. For example, deleting the history of Mughals as they maintain that it is not representative of Indian history. So, I think this is the greater issue and the opposition states that since we have to find out where our history comes from, so we have to read all kinds of histories and mere deletion of uh, these references. Okay, that I understood. Now, what is your, your view? Sir, my view what is… Think, right or wrong? What is, yes, sir. Sir, so my view is that history is a study of facts from personal interpretation side. If the facts are distorted, then it is wrong. But if interpretation changes, then I think it is not an issue because it is also said that history is written by the victors, but the other side is also there. So I think interpretation should be uh, left to the teachers and the students and the readers. And uh, what, what NCRT has done, whether it has deleted something or interpretation has been changed or weightage has been changed? Sir, I think it is not an umbrella thing. They have. Uh, there have been good things also, there have been some issues also. For example, deletion of uh, 2002 Gujarat rights reference, I think that is wrong. It should be there. But certain communal references that have been neutralized. It is due to the right is there, that only it has been shortened. The paragraph has been shortened. Okay, sir. So then it is fine. Then the reference is there. I thought that reference has been deleted no, as no, I read in one of the newspapers. No, totally deleted. <laughs> sir, then it is fine because the facts have to be there. Facts were there. Yes, sir. The, the uh, interpretation, narratives around that was deleted. Sir, that, that, is that, that is what I was saying that it has to be on the readers. They have to draw their inferences. Yes. They have to do research on that and the NCRT should not preach the in, in narratives that have to be taught to the children. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Manasvi, yes, uh, you are presently wor still working with uh, that uh, EdTech. Yes, ma'am. Tell me about your profile. Ma'am, I am currently working as a program manager. Uh, it deals with bringing up new programs and improving the uh, current programs that we are running in the EdTech firm. So I am working in the UPSC division because I have been uh, studying for UPSC. My role primarily deals with uh, deals by acting as a liaison officer between four of the verticals that are the strategy team, uh, then the content developing team, then marketing and sales team and the evaluation and feedback team. So for example, uh, the, the most favorite project that I have taken up it is uh, AI driven evaluation for uh, for prelims as well as mains testing. So that I developed from what I studied in psychology, there was a concept related programmed learning. So using tech, I thought we can frame, uh, we can link both the previous year questions and themes from UPSC and the current understanding from the, uh, from the textbooks that we read. Then find out the loopholes, whether the uh, whether there is an issue regarding the conceptual understanding of the student or it has some knowledge gaps or it has been some factual error so this is what i am currently working on and i developed it through marketing feedback the process started with marketing feedback whether the uh, candidates are receptive to it are they ready for it then we developed a strategy with the strategy team that in the middle term for example bringing a new project it takes generally four to six months so if we develop a strategy to bring a shortened version of it, say a sandbox, sandbox version, then it becomes economically viable also. Uh, then we have to develop content. Content we already have regarding that and it is only uh, tech based work. We have to work with, uh, so to cut, uh, to cut the technology costs also, we hired certain uh, college uh, trainees. So this is the project that I am currently working on. Uh, does uh, chat GPT play any role there in your project? In our project it does not ma'am. But students can use it and currently we don't have uh, a mechanism to find out whether the text has been generated through, through chat GPT. But I think because it is a competitive exam and if somebody is cheating in it through chat GPT it is their loss. 
and but the basic information is i think chat gpt is able to provide the basic information about any subject yes ma'am and then you can take it further yes ma'am that we can do like uh, uh. if i i'll ask you to compare uh, the google's uh, bard with chat gpt uh, g4 per new version can you compare that for me mem on technology front i may not be able to but right. one uh, as a as a beneficiary yes ma'am as a beneficiary i can say that chat gpt has a fixed database but google's bard can also provide data on the real time happenings for example chat gpt uh, the free version it provides data only till 2021 uh, but they have come out with a new version also so ma'am that is paid So, that is paid yes ma'am i'm not talking uh, about the economy of uh, yes, you know what is there so they have developed after google's bard came out so that we cannot just work on the uh, fixed database that we have because that will not give that will not best talk, of the benefits uh, that will not be competitive with yes, google yes ma'am so since google has its own search engine and mm. uh, real time happenings can be evaluated and put in so i think in that sense it was superior but in the text that has been generated uh chat gpt plus 4 4 plus that was brought in just now it has trillions of calculations that it does and i think that is more than what uh, google's bard was doing in the uh, trial version that they presented right so do you think uh, the google search engine in in is in the dying stage it will just die down or uh, will bard do something to keep up the competition with uh, chat gpt mam the technology is evolving really fast and in the limited understanding that i have regarding this sector i think google is one of the major players and in the recent in, in the middle terms it will not go anywhere but it will mm-hmm. definitely have to develop its own capacity with respect to they will have to, to innovate further yes ma'am okay tell me you know my next question is a offshoot of this only how many people you know initially when a new technology comes either you upscale or you lose your job uh, what would be what is the you know thing in the air uh, whether people will be able to match up with uh, chat gpt or they'll have to just yes lose their jobs uh, ma'am there are uh, genuine concerns regarding losing of jobs and definitely people have to upscale uh, but the current level of chat gpt or any of the chatbots is not at human scale level the highly skilled people are still coding better than chat gpt they are still produ- the human element is not there yet so but certainly people have to upskill themselves and the jobs that can be uh, substituted by the tech they it will be substituted in a country like india where you know we, a major concern is unemployment Yes. let's take the example of haryana or any other state everybody every state is facing this problem and with the recent uh, techno technological advances where does india st- uh, stand you know how do we tackle our unemployment give me one example if you are, if you are my advisor and i want to settle this issue of unemployment uh, ma'am unemployment is in india is generally at the lower skill level and we have good engineers good doctors at the uh, higher skill level so the tech that is coming is at the higher skill levels and we have to focus on labor intensive industries we have to focus on integrating in global value chains at the lower level so even in semiconductor industries we need the human labor to an extent yes high tech uh, labor is required polarization is there but i think to address the unemployment issues in india we have to focus on labor intensive industries uh, can you name one just uh, a brief for answer. example apparel industries for example manufacturing uh, well or the craft is yes, there ma'am. okay thank you thank you okay uh, we are through with the formal part of the interview okay sir thank what you what is your own assessment uh, sir i came in really scared but i think uh, the board really eased out those nerves and i became a little comfortable uh, so on that front it was okay but i think there are a lot of knowledge gaps still there that i need to plug in okay when is your interview sir 11th of may a lot of time sir one month yes sir okay 
You see, Manasvi, uh, there are three uh, divisions. One is your subject, yes. the other one is your DAF, yes. and third one is current affairs. Okay? And IPS being your second preference and foreign service being your third preference. So all the uh, aspects will be important. Yes. Okay. Mm. So any newspaper you are reading? Sir, Indian Express, I read it thoroughly and then I scan through the Hindu. Okay. That is only. Add one economic paper also. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. And TV channel? Sir, no TV channel. Okay. Uh, do watch uh, Sansad TV because okay. it will give uh, your knowledge about the various government programs. Yes, sir. Because always there is one or two questions about government programs. Yes, there are yes, sir. too many government programs. Yes, sir. So do go through. Yes, sir. And uh, there is a channel called WION Well. Beyond, yes, yeah. yes, sir. Yeah, so it covers the foreign affairs related part. Definitely, sir. And since your uh, second preference is Indian Police Service, there may be some questions relating to police. Uh, um, bulldozer thing or fake encounter, mm. mob lynching, many yes, things. Sir. Commissioner yes. system. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes. So be clear about all these concepts. And uh, otherwise, you are ready. All the best. Do you know how many police commissioner system is there in Haryana? Sir, five. Oh, you are aware of it. Okay. <laughs> so knowledge about your state is very important. Huh? Yes, sir. but I forgot uh, the tourist places. It just <laughs> I was just blank <laughs> regarding that. Oi, oi, main hai. Us mein thodi taiyari aapko karni Yes, sir. Do, do work on that. Okay. I mean, you answer most of my questions pretty well. Very nice. Especially out of box thinking, aapke theek hai. Okay. Aapne ABC ka jo daran diya, that's very good. Because in these Type of question you have to think on the spot. Yes, sir. So that you could do. So all the best. Thank you, sir. Okay, Mr. Sharma. Okay, sir. You need not worry about all these things. All that happens, sir. I think initially you were nervous and yes, sir. Things. That's why you cannot recall. Yes, sir. The Pani path and Shiraki Gadi. I, I just can... got stuck there. Okay, and no issue. Not move just uh, keep on updating yourself yes, one sir. month. Yes, sir. Okay. Otherwise, you are a very good candidate with a lot of potential. I wish you good luck. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, see, the uh, interview is a interaction, not yes, interrogation. Yes, so, we also try to put you at ease. Yes, the board, sir. real board, when you will go, they will also try to put you at ease. So, you be confident. Okay, sir. They are not going to interrogate you, you know, in police station, okay? Yes. They just want to talk to you. Yes. You sir. should be, not be nervous. Yes. Sir. First thing. And question is asked by one member, your answer is to the entire board. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. You should have glance to other people also. Yes. yes. Because everybody yes. is listening what you are saying yes. and they will evaluate you on what you are saying. Yes. Okay? yes. So that you must remember. So, see, my question was simple, who will be better dependable ally yes. in Russia or China? You try to go here and there, round about and everything. Yes. Don't want to take a line. Yes. When the question wants to take you to, to a line, then you must take a line. Definitely. You can say Russia, we can also help to some extent, yes, but sir. more dependable will be this. Yes, sir. sir I, have, of, I have understood the distinction between uh, both. That you can, I have to bring it out for you. Yes, me. sir. But now I have understood. Uh, every member yes, will know that too, only because of proximity of Russia or China. Yes, sir. And that too, in a, uh, China is leading in yes, their in, in the present circumstances, China has become a bigger brother. Earlier, yes, Russia, Russia, Russia has been a yes, yes, good yes, ally. So, Russia will not have that much leverage on China. He, yes, he may be friendly with China, but vis-a-vis -vis India, Russia, USA can take a more stronger stand against yes, China sir. than Russia. Yes, sir. So, sir, you should have understood the yes, dynamics. Sir. I have understood. Okay. Yes, sir. In my questions, you did very well. So, all the best. Thank you very much, ma'am. So that's all for us. Yes. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Actually, the joke is there is no tourist place in Haryana. Mr. Pawa. If I am honest, the first thing that came to my mind was this only. <laughs> but I, then I thought, no, no, I have to tell tourists. You cannot say so. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> because if I have to go somewhere, I will not find anything in Haryana. There are <laughs> senior bureaucrat, Mr. Pawa. Mm -hmm. He was my adjunct secretary also in urban <laughs> development. He was in charge of tourism. 
ये क्रिएटर ऑलवेज विजलिंग टील कुछ है नहीं आउट ऑफ नथिंग दैट वाज प्राइमरली बिकॉज़ आई ब्लैंक आउट आई जस्ट बट यू कैन ऑलवेज से राखी गड़ी राखी गड़ी वुड बी ऑफिशियली ऑफ ग्रेट इंटरेस्ट टू पीपल हु आर इनटू एंड सिंगल गार्डन ऑफ कोर्स यस पिंजौर पंचकुला को हम वो मानते नहीं है हरियाणा नहीं मानते ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू